Hey there, good morning. About to try something I've never done before, so I'm gonna bring you along with it. One, never made a video, and two, I've never made fruitcake, but we're gonna do both right now. So I'm uh, making my grandmother's recipe, actually her mother's recipe, and um, it's one of Haas's favorite little holiday treats, so why not? So to get started, I have uh, two cups of applesauce in uh, the bowl, and then I'm gonna be putting together also sugar, cinnamon, fresh ground cloves, baking soda, salt, and some melted butter all in the bowl first. So I have all those dry ingredients there, just sprinkling it in. Some melted butter. Congealed a little bit, but it seems to be just fine. All right, so applesauce, sugar, cinnamon, ground cloves, baking soda, salt, and melted butter. Now I'm just gonna mix it all up. Guess it should look about like that. Then I have uh, washed seedless raisins and I have all the nuts and the candied fruit. I've just lightly tossed it in a little flour. I'm assuming that's to uh, make sure it doesn't stick and I am told it also helps the uh, fruit and raisins and nuts not sink to the bottom of the cake. So that's just dusted with flour and tossed. All right, so it says once I've done that, um, I'm just gonna mix all of that in here together. Done. Got to mix that around. Get a bigger. Okay, that looks amply coated. All right, and then it says add the remaining of the flour to the applesauce mixture. Mix well. This is um, sifted flour. I just did all that stuff to start. Adding that right in. Just gonna toss it around, mix it in real good. Mm. It's definitely a stiff dough. I guess that's what you want. That's what she said, Michael Scott. All right, so I'm just doing this, and like I said, I've never made this before either, but I figured I'd surprise Haas with a little treat when uh, he got up on this snowy morning. All right. So that all seems good and incorporated. All right, so then next it says, once I've done all that, I'm to add a half a cup of wine or port. So we got a little 20 year old port for uh, the holidays. So why not bump it up? Half a cup. Yeah. All right, you know I like that, all right. Now I'm just gonna mix this all in real good. All right, and then it says bake at 250 or 275 degrees in a greased and floured pan for an hour and three quarters, just depending. So I've got this all nice and mixed. Check that out. I have my spring corn pan. It says two pan, but I don't have one, so this is where we're going. Whee! All right. I'm just evening this out in the spring form pan. All right. To look about like that. Now I'm gonna put that in the oven at 275 degrees and I'll catch in about two hours.
Peace. Hey guys, so it's been about two hours or so because of course once we got uh, this beauty out of the oven, uh, we had to let it cool. Smells fantastic. I feel like I'm back at my grandmother's. I didn't even remember the smell. So, okay, now I'm going to open it up. Okay, very good. That's encouraging. Now, I think I've, I've been thinking about it and I am going to flip it upside down. You're with me with this, so we'll see. Okay, yeah, I'm not mad at it. Oh yeah, guy. Oh yeah, mmm. We'll just be saving that for later, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so now the recipe calls for cheesecloth soaked in a little uh, wine. As you know, I did 20 year old port wine. So that's what this is. It's just a couple pieces of cloth. Nice and wet, definitely. And I'm just laying it over top. Oh my God. Hello, kitty. Meow. Mm -hmm. All right, I wish you could smell it in here, honestly. The port and the spice of this cake. All right, everybody. Oh. Oh, yeah, guy. Why not, right? And then why would you ever waste any of it? Mm. I'll be looking for the middle of that cake later. We'll check back. Peace.